video is a demonstration of the application of Dynamold's DMS-4828 moldable shim in its pre-catalyzed strip form. The strips of shim in this film are 30 thousandths of an inch thick and are a two thousandths thick layer of bondable DuPont Tedlar, which remains a permanent part of the shim. Prior to application of the moldable shim, all parts to which the shim will be bonded must be cleaned. This is accomplished with a thorough solvent wipe. When the part is clean, strips of moldable shim are removed from frozen storage. Strips must be kept frozen until just before application. The protective covering of release paper is removed from each strip while they are still cold. Note the blocks of dry ice on the table in the foreground. These are used when it is necessary to refreeze a strip for cutting, removal of release paper, or for short-term storage. Once the strips have been thawed to a tacky condition, they are applied tacky side down to the part. This should be done with a rolling motion to eliminate air entrapment. Very little pressure is needed to stick the strips in place. Too much pressure can cause squeeze out. The white surface you see is the bondable Tedlar backing on the strips of moldable shim. The strips can easily be cut with a razor to achieve the desired size and shape. It is helpful to designate one or more people whose job it is to prepare the strips for the people who apply them to the part. This helps streamline the application process. In this way, it is possible to shim a large assembly in a short period of time.
parts are located and assembled, the Tedlar backing of the moldable shim makes contact with the other side of the assembly. In most cases, the Tedlar eliminates the need for a parting film or release agent on the assembly. Note the formation of a bead of shim squeeze-out when pressure is applied to the assembly. This squeeze-out is a critical indicator that a good fit has been achieved throughout the assembly. Use of the pre-catalyzed Tedlar back moldable shim has eliminated the need for measuring and mixing a two-part system. It has also allowed for the use of a carefully controlled thickness of shim, which in turn reduces post-assembly cleanup.